Ground Penetration Radar is a unique research tool that has many different applications, such as locating buried utilities, locating graves, fracture, joint and void detection, locating underground storage tanks, locating pretension tendons, bridge deck investigations, pavement investigations, and even more as GPR is able to detect most of man-made objects. GPR is a non-destructive geophysical electromagnetic technique that uses high-frequency radio waves to transmit into the ground. The transmitted energy is reflected from objects with different dielectric properties. GPR antenna then receives the reflected waves and stores them in the digital control unit. Results of GPR data are typically enhanced with the use of specific software and interpreted accurately to assess feature of interest. Ground penetrating radar is a rapid technique for locating utilities such as PVC and metal pipes, cables, fuel and water lines. Most utilities provide dielectric contrast needed and are easily found with the use of GPR. The data can be viewed in the field as being acquired. Depending on the data quality, data processing might not be necessary since utilities might be observed immediately. Locating unmarked or improperly marked graves is usually a challenge. However, GPR works efficiently for mapping unmarked graves and historical burials. GPR can also determine grave attributes such as depth of burial, grave size, type of caskets and their orientation. GPR as a methodology has been found to be useful in a variety of situations to detect fracture, joint, fold and void. Studying the location and characteristics of such zones is highly important for the future actions to prevent any damages. For these kinds of survey, antenna can be either hand-towed or hand-pushed. Once the final interpretation completed, GPR results provide an accurate mapping of a void. Also, it is frequently possible to determine contents of a void. GPR is useful technique to locate underground storage tanks non-destructively. Made of metal or any other material that has different electric properties than the surrounding subsurface soil or rock, underground storage tanks can be easily identified and mapped. In case if tank was removed, the evidence of excavation appears on GPR scans. GPR tool is routinely used to determine the pattern, placement and density of rebars and pretension tendons in concrete. The most prominent features on GPR scans are the hyperbolic reflections generated by the tops of the cylindrical voids. The diffraction hyperbolas generated by the tendons are reverse polarity and much less prominent. The aim of bridge deck assessment is to determine deteriorated zones of concrete caused by reinforcing steel corrosion. Modern GPR systems are capable of providing detailed imaging of individual steel bars within reinforcing mats in concrete deck, depth measurements, thickness of asphalt overlay. In general, weak reflection amplitude values and high apparent depth to rebars typically indicate deterioration. In contrast, good quality bridge deck areas are characterized by strong amplitude of reflection and relatively low depth to the top of reinforcing bars. Using contour mapping, a color-coded map of bridge deck can be generated to evaluate condition of the entire bridge deck. Core samples extracted from specific areas of the deck can verify efficiency of GPR data results. GPR provides quick and efficient pavement assessment. For this survey, both ground-coupled and air launch antenna are deployed. Air launch GPR antenna is typically used to operate at highway speeds and allow inspections to happen without disrupting traffic. The data collected by the GPR system might be used to estimate overall condition of pavements, pavement layer thickness, moisture content, locations of dependent overlay, damaged concrete. It is also effective method to locate joints and sections where voids might have developed under reinforcing concrete slabs. Let us summarize the strengths of GPR. GPR measures travel time and magnitudes of reflected electromagnetic signal. Tool does not need to be coupled to the Earth. Data acquisition is relatively rapid. GPR provides with moderate to very high data resolution. GPR provides with reliable 2D and 3D geologic models. 
it must be noted that GPR as any geophysical technique has limitations. It has limited depth of investigation. Post-acquisition processing may be required. Interpretations are non-unique. External constraints are required. And finally, electromagnetic radiation does not effectively penetrate moist clay. Therefore, in wet clays, penetration depth of GPR signal decreases significantly.